Many physical therapists, particularly maybe in the orthopedic setting, the outpatient setting, obviously have at their disposal equipment such as stationary bikes, treadmills, elliptical exercises machines, uh, various weight equipment. Well, when you go into the inpatient setting where you're going to have, uh, whether it be subacute units in the hospital, skilled nursing, anywhere that patients are going to be treated and may or may not have the various uh, functional abilities that someone say in the outpatient setting whether it be orthopedic related or whatnot have the quadricizer is an excellent tool to assist the physical therapist and I say it's a tool because it's very important to recognize that it is a tool in the hands of a skilled physical therapist can be a, a perfect adjunct in the treatment plan and when we're looking at patients whether they're being treated on a treatment table or on the plants there in the gym uh, in the parallel bars you really should see this machine uh, being used full-time uh, right alongside the different modalities of treatment. Simulated walking and mimics the natural gait pattern of human movement. By reclining the seat back, paying attention to your own body mechanics, the patient is positioned in an effort to mimic the normal gait pattern. The speed should result in a smooth and consistent range of motion in the upper and lower extremities. Noticing that the arms moving in opposition in one another from flexion to extension as well as the lower extremities. I like it. Stride length was a lot more consistent, and the pace of her gait was a lot quicker, a lot quicker pace. And um, normally she's really, you know, just on her toes. She actually had a little bit more heel strike, a little bit more continuity and consistency with her walking. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the nursing home setting, a, a lot of times there's people that can't tolerate um, a lot of activity and they need to build up their endurance. It's great for that. It's great for coordinating um, as far as both sides of the body. Uh, there's a ton of benefits, but this is Miss Ethel Hero. She's a wonderful lady. She had had a stroke and a lot of times if you've had a stroke, you can't focus on the left side of your body if that's your weaker side. So that was very difficult for her. I'm bragging on you. Smile. Good. And what the quadricizer has done for her is we're, we're using it to get both sides of her body coordinated and has had dramatic results for her. She's actually two things. One is she's starting to get muscle contractures and starting to use get to contractions and starting to use the left side, her left arm now. I saw on several different patients that the gait was changed when they walked in and how they walked back to their rooms. because this is a, a, something he can't do without the quadricizer doing the work for him. There's, he's too big right now for me to do legs and somebody to do arms. There's too much strength and there's just no other way to get all four limbs cross-patterning for a child this time uh -huh. and this size. So this is just the most perfect, perfect thing for him to be in.
I'm Melissa Hackman, the Occupational Therapist at Clareview School. Hi, Christy Weimer. Uh, I'm Dakota here at Clareview. I'm Jennifer Schmidt. I'm a physical therapist at Clareview. One of my students in my classroom, he walks and his feet go inward almost like scissor steps. And after he used um, the pediatric quadricizer, he walks straighter. I mean, it just makes me want to cry. Awesome. <laughs> just after, what, a half hour? How long was he on? 20 minutes, half hour? That's wonderful. We're very happy to have it. It's okay. You're doing fine. You're going to walk right over here to this chair. Let him just try it. He'll see. That's a little better, and at least you can keep your mouth on it. Like I just did. Yeah. 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 Emotional pain. You have I've never been able to cross like that. Cross your hands. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever done that. Like when I walk, I don't scissor. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stand up again? You want to try it again then? Yeah, just stand up. During my father's recovery on the, using the quadricizer, he would go on the machine twice a day for 60 minutes each time because it's you know it's sort of nature's way to keep the body moving and and walking and circulation. You know those keys are crucial in recovery because if you sit around in a wheelchair or you're laying down, you know your body's not going to heal. To so be able to see this progress. You know, that he hasn't had in 12 years is amazing in 40 minutes. Very happy. I'm amazed that that arm hatch opened yeah, up. It's even opened more since 15 That's minutes higher. ago. Mm -hmm. And it's higher. Mm -hmm. He could never lift that arm up. Never do that. And this is straightened out. Oh my God. I mean, that hand, yes. Give me a thumbs one. up. Oh my God. This hand was like this. You couldn't even. Oh, you couldn't do even, this. like, bend it if you no. thought you were going to break the fingers. I could never do this with his fingers. No. Nope. There's no way. No way. Anymore. You can what? Actually look and see inside of his hand. And you've not been able to do that? Never. No. Never? Never. And how Never. long? Never. Twelve years. Oh, in twelve years? Uh, my name is Mark Desmond. I'm director here at High Hopes. Uh, we're the first brain injury program in the United States, and we love these quadricizer machines. This quadricizer machine has been wonderful for our students. Um, patterning itself was invented in the 50s, and it took five people to do this. This machine's able to do it just on its own. Or anywhere we can help more than one person at one time is phenomenal. And, and this particular machine is great for teaching people how to take steps for the first time. And we're leaning her back, put her into a more prone position, and, and teaching her, basically giving her an opportunity to put her in a more of a gait position where she's actually taking steps. And we're using the same muscles and rep repetition. With brain injury, repetition is so important. Uh, doing it over and over again. The optimum amount of time on the machine, I guess everybody's gonna ask that question, as closest to an hour as possible. We've been very fortunate here at High Hopes to have a 97% success rate of getting people 
uh, out of wheelchairs and walking.